In this section, we will show some examples of how StreamSets supports operational data integration use cases. One pattern we often see is a case where a company is getting files on a regular basis of similar data from perhaps their remote locations or sales offices or from other external parties. And the data is, is semantically the same, but the file formats and data elements often vary across the various files. So we'll look at an example of taking some store point of sale data and moving that into Kafka. Um, from there, we will distribute it to MongoDB, which is an operational database underlying the company's customer facing application. We also typically see that these types of feeds are still done on a daily or hourly basis, but with the desire to move toward real time. So we'll also show how stream sets can quickly API enable the same process for real time acquisition of this data. This demo will also illustrate how stream sets supports these critical capabilities. Core to StreamSets flexibility is its schemaless engine. Rather than defining and imposing a schema on the data, we infer that schema on a record by record basis. So as we start to read data from the S3 bucket, we'll show a quick example using our preview functionality. We will pull up a file here and show how we have a lot of flexibility in handling varying schemas. Uh, in this case, the file contains three records. The first is a hierarchical structure that you can see here with two different sections. Uh, the second record is a flat structure with different fields and field names. And the final one is quite unrelated to the other two. Uh, the stream sets engine is quite happy to process all of this. So let's take a look at the, at a, at the real files that we want to process. And uh, again, we'll pull these through uh, and push them into Kafka. And we support reusability by leveraging what we call fragments. So this is a fragment which encapsulates a chunk of logic. Uh, it can be reused in multiple pipelines. When it's changed, it changes in all the pipelines uh, provided that they are chosen to be upgraded uh, and allows you a lot of flexibility and reusability. With our built-in processors, we can do quite extensive manipulation of records in flight. For example, computing uh, new values uh, and even doing data masking to handle uh, sensitive data as it goes through the system. So I'll start this pipeline and we'll see it begin to process data from S3. We're picking up a couple of different files in different formats. We can see uh, quickly 25,000 records processed. Uh, we have the ability with our smart pipelines to monitor uh, every processor and the time that it's taking to see performance implications. Uh, and we can even see that uh, there are rules available that allowed us to detect uh, drift coming in where one of the files changed and we can take action on those. On the other side, we have a pipeline that was reading from Kafka and sending that to MongoDB, and we can see again that it picked up those 25,000 records and processed those through to Mongo. So to illustrate moving from batches of files coming in every day to a more real-time submission of the point of sale data, uh, let's create a REST-enabled pipeline to accept the same information. So I'm gonna start with the pipeline we already have. I'm going to duplicate that. And from here, we now have a copy. And what we're going to do is simply delete the origin. And we, uh, StreamSets has what we call an HTTP server origin that allows us to, when starting this pipeline or running it as a job, automatically fire up an HTTP server. Uh, and it will accept uh, put and post requests to it uh, based on a application ID. So we're going to call this one store data. So with this, we can quickly uh, do a preview. I'm actually going to preview this. And while it's, wait it's essentially starting up and waiting for data, I'm going to use Postman to send a couple of records through and we see those pop up right here. So I'm now going to close this and also talk a little bit about how we support data ops in terms of version control. So we can see that we have this pipeline as a draft. I'm going to check this in and uh, go through, we can share this with others and set uh, permissions and ACLs. And I'm going to save this and then create a new job, which is a runtime artifact for this pipeline. Uh, with that, uh, we will go through, just answer a few questions here. I'm gonna change this to run on my on-prem engine. And if we go back to Postman and start posting things, we should see data flowing through. And there we see two records, four records, six records, all running through Kafka. So in this short demonstration, we've seen how StreamSet supports these critical capabilities in operational integration use cases.